Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today is going to be some more project shares using my Scrap Diva Designs uh, Design Team Package Dies from October. And so let's just jump right in and let me share with you real quick what some more items that I made. Now this first one, um, I shared some of the pages singly when I first started, when I first got the, the dies and I hadn't done anything with it, I just you know, put a couple of the pages together so I could see what it looked like and share with you guys. So that's what I had done. Anyway, this is called the Acorn Mini Album. Okay, so now I put it together, decorated it more. I think I added one more page to it. But anyway, this is what I made. So I have it all together. I have four pages in here. And this one I've made more like an embellishment book um, with just some things added to it. So I've got some cute little bunch of twines here and a cute little burlap bow. This front part I already had done, other than now I made a little, um, I made a layered rosette using the double layer rosette. Um, a die set from Scrap Diva. Um, I like doing mine this way. I know it's not how it was intended, but I like the looks of it like this. How I, I put the, the layering piece like underneath and let it sticking out. And I just like the, the way it looks. So anyway, and I put a little turkey in there. Okay, so I think everything else, other than the bow and the and this, everything else was already on there. So I just got, I, this is the the Victorian frames, which I had already shared. Okay, so then um, I already had this bow that I made. This is the uh, shaker bow. And then I have, um, I tucked a couple of these tags. I think I took a picture of this on my Instagram and shared it with you, just using some of the stamps and from the um, from this month's release also, which is, there's 10 different um, really cute fall sayings there. So I stamped a bunch of those on some already pre-made tags that I had. Um, this one already had the twine in it, but this pink one, I added this black and white twine to it. So I just tuck those back there to add in. Okay, this page I didn't add any more, but I, I'll show you what I think I'm probably going to add on there um, after I share the whole project with you. And sorry for the noise if you hear <sighs> screeching like that. And <laughs> that's my bird. And there's a little tinkling going on because he's playing with his little toy. It's got a bell on it. and He wasn't being too noisy, so I didn't cover him up. But, of course, he's probably because he's hearing me talking. He's calling out to me, I guess. But... Anyway, here's a couple more of these Victorian frames that I had already shared that I had put together. So I added those onto here, onto the back of this page to share. Okay, this page was already done also, another Victorian frame. And um, a couple more tags, a couple of the different sayings that I tucked in there, just back behind there so they could be added in. Okay, uh, this bow I had already made and shared was one of the shaker bows, the small one. Another one of the Victorian frames added on here. And then I added this other page here, and these are using the um, ball words number two again. This set has three different words with a layering piece, blessed, thankful, and grateful. So I added, I made two of those, layered them up on some of the uh, foam, and I stitched through the, the word, and I added them on here, and I just have everything attached with a glue dot so people can tear it off and they can use the album to make an album you know just put some pictures in themselves um whatever they want to do with it so and i just left the back blank so put more tags here i need to remember who i purchased some tags from that they make them they've made them some for me before i need some new tags i need some that for for like for halloween and for christmas and i don't i don't do them so <laughs> If you know who does it or if you do it let me know <laughs> all right so that's uh, another quick look at the at the finished little fall album other than one thing i'm going to add to it all right so then um here is another way that i use the fall words number two is i use this one uh, i use the word blessed and i made a super super simple card especially since i the card base was already a card um <clears throat> that i had in my stash and so I just took, and that's a kind of a ombre one. And so I just uh, cut a piece of pattern paper down to, <clears throat> excuse me, down to um, fit it. And then um, I use a corner rounder to kind of give a decorative edge on the corners. Okay, I took my, my blessed word, stitched through it. 
up on foam. I, before I attached my um, paper, I tied a piece of twine around it and tied a little bow right there, and then I stuck the whole thing down. Okay, I attached a cute little pink leaf charm up here at the top to hang down, and then I just have a few diamond, uh, not diamond dots, um, enamel dots, and super simple sweet card. Okay, so I need to put my tag on the back still. But super easy to just pop it in an envelope and mail it off. So very easy. Make this, these, this, this word set um, makes the per, it's the perfect size to go across um, <clears throat> horizontal on a card. Okay. So there's that one. All right. Next up, I made this again. So this is the uh, memory decks pocket set. So I had already done one in like Halloween colors, but now I decided to do this one, uh, the fall stuff to match these other things that I'm making. I attached a little, um, just a little orange um, happy face charm there on the side. Got some pretty little um, leaves. This is a flower that was in my stash. This is a leaf from the, uh, which set is it? It comes with the acorn mini album. You got two different styles of leaves that come with it. Um, so I love that, I love that shape. So um, that's the leaf. Um, I've got some like lace um, trim layered back here. Um, this is the Victorian frame here with the welcome fall from the stamp set stamped. Um, this is uh, a pretty little, um, just, you know, like a cabochon type uh, flower that I just picked up from Timu, a little um, puppy sticker from the collection. And yeah, I added it on there. So makes a cute little box to put some things in. So I made another one of those. And then next I played with, <clears throat> and it's the first time I've used this one. It's the door tag medium. It comes in small and large also. I just received the medium. So I made some cute little door tags. So, and they're shakers. So yeah, I made them both shakers. This one I just made more like an embellishment. So um, I just have some chipboard and the little leaf again and an acorn from the, the acorns from, uh, which set is it? I can't remember. <coughs> it's from one of the sets this month too. Can't remember if it's from, it's not the hedgehog. It, is it from the? Oh no, it's it comes as part of the set, the um, fall jelly tote. You get that acorn in there. Okay, so that's where I, I use that. Just kind of cut it twice, layered it up. Um, cut out a strip of paper, layered it up on foam, and a little Tim Holtz word strip there in black, and then I add a little black and white twine. I love to add a little tiny bit of black to my projects tiny little flower there and yeah so it's a cute little embellishment okay this one I went ahead and made the tag so again it is a shaker and I got you know all kinds of the collection sorry for his noise I'm sorry you guys <laughs> um, you know, I got I got some chipboard and puppy stickers I got a little, little puffy heart from Maggie Holmes I got another little strip uh, word strip there. It's got layered up a couple times. A little flag strip. I tied. Uh, this is a cute little tool bow that was in my stash. I have a piece of ribbon up here for the you know you could tie on something, and then up, I ran the ribbon around here also, just for and then tied a bow on the side for some decorative de you know decoration. And on this one, I put these two together, and so this one has a tag that pulls out. So you got your um, window like that and I made two together and I just attached on the sides in the bottom so then I can stick a little tag the little tag right back down in there so I think that turned out really cute so I just put them back in there and there we go so it's cute either way love it so anyway I was thinking of putting one of these um, in that space right here that I haven't added any kind of thing so it's kind of big, 
so I probably will use this one if I can get that to I'll just attach it with some stuff you know or I might make another bow or something I'm not sure I'll just have to see but that's the only spot I really need to fill up still so anyway those are again the door tag medium okay and then lastly real quick I want to show you another way I use this one which is the A2 card box add-on so it's made to go on top of the A2 card box obviously um, this one's called branches um, but it makes a great card okay and super easy card okay so this one um, I have made in Christmas theme this one I'm using an old Frank Garcia also that I got the same time as I bought this uh, <laughs> this fall theme it was called Christmas in the country and really pretty and so I kind of just cut my backing out you know around the picture that I wanted to kind of feature and then I cut my leaf and you know, my branch border around um, I cut that out of white glitter paper I don't know if you can tell that that's glitter but it is a really pretty glitter white glitter Okay, I have some chipboard here. This is a cabochon. Um, I, the, the border comes with a couple extra um, of the branches, so you can cut more. And I have some more of those. Um, you can't see them super well, but they're um, layered up back here. And then I just used a, a red flower that I had in my stash already. A couple of these cute little white, um, you know, kind of white coated um, pine cones that I ordered off Timu. Just thought that looked really cute right there and then a puffy sticker and then a cute little bow i had in my stash i'm pretty sure deborah made me that one thank you deborah um <clears throat> she's my little bow maker <laughs> she always sends me tiny little bows and i love it love it love it anyway um and so then i just again used a card base that i already had it was just a pack of cards that was red and it matched so um i just cut um and i think it was actually a five by seven card so I just placed, you know, my frame set up here on it. And then I just, uh, you know, I wanted a little bit of border around and then I just cut off. There was probably by, you know, I don't know, that much or so that I cut off at the end to make it, you know, so the border was even all the way around. So I don't think I, yeah. Oh, I just put some paper inside. I haven't stamped anything more or anything like that yet, but I just thought this was beautiful. So, so easily you can make not just the card top i mean the box top but so easily can make a card out of it so i love that i have it up on foam here so you can see a little bit of dimension underneath the underneath the branches i thought it turned out really cute so anyway, that's my project share for today i have some more i'm working on right now i'll be back um soon to share with you again if you have any questions leave them down below remember to um go check out erica's website here it is, scrapdivadesigns.com. And this is all of our social media. I will link to the website. I will list my discount code. If you decide to purchase anything, be sure to use that so it'll save you some money, 10% off. Um, and then I'll link all the dyes that I use. Okay? And sorry for the screaming again. <laughs> uh, okay, thanks so much for watching, everybody. Take care. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.